Welcome to Hammer Time with Mr. Postframe, where we cover tools, equipment, and anything related to building your dream. Let's go ahead and get into it. to Mr. Post Frame. Today is going to be a hammer time episode and we're going to talk about the Weaver tool gear, tool belts that I wear, and what I keep in them on a daily basis. Before we get started, Weaver tool gear is sending me a leather super framer tool belt, uh, the deluxe uh, spenders, and a drill accessory hook to give away on our channel along with um, a hat, uh, what else Justin, a shirt, and then we are gonna give away, um, with this giveaway, one of our beanies. So you're gonna to wanna to stay around till the end. We'll talk about all the details on how you enter, but we're gonna just start out this video on the two tool belts that I normally wear and how I utilize them. All right guys, so I'll just give you a little bit of background on how my relationship started with Weaver Tool Gear. We were at the NFBA last year. Um, I saw their booth, I went up to it. I met Glenn, I think it's Kovalens, is how you pronounce it, who works for Weaver Tool Gear. And I was just impressed just at the initial sight of their, of their tool bags. Uh, they looked like they were high quality. Um, so I was just intrigued. So we got to talking, he let me try some on and I've been wearing them ever since. So um, that's how I uh, got hooked up with Weaver Tool Gear was at the NFBA. And I can tell you, I am super impressed with the quality and the performance of these bags. The tool bag I have on is the one they're actually gonna give away. It's the leather super framer. Um, these come in different sizes. Uh, I have suspenders on these. So these are the bags that I wear most of the time. Um, when I'm doing, when I'm working, I like to have the suspenders just um, to keep the weight off my waist. So these work out really well. Um, and I'll just go through how I use these and kind of show you some of the different uh, pockets, all that kind of stuff. So I guess we'll start on the right side. Um, you got a couple different options. I've always kept my tape measure in this outside pocket, uh, but they do have a tape measure holder right here that you can hook your tape to. And that's kind of personal preference. To get that off, you just have to spin your, spin your tape. Um, but like I said, my whole life, I've always kept my tape measure in this outside pocket on whatever bags I have. So that's kind of where I keep my tape measure. On this side, I have all my different pencils, so I got a couple colored ones here. Um, I have a white and a red. That's when I'm working with different colored steel. Um, my marks can show up better. This is my normal gray pencil, and then I just have a framing pencil um, when I'm doing certain things. I like this kind of pencil as well. And then I have this bag right here, which typically um, I don't utilize all that much unless I'm going to be doing cut of, cutting of trims and stuff like that. In which case I take this, um, this little insert here, which this insert here will go into a leather bag or it will go into one of their poly bags. So I also have a poly bag that I like to use when um, say I got to jump in and out of the skid steer a bunch and I need to take my tool belt on and off a lot. This is quick and easy um, just because it's got a couple quick um, latches here to un unconnect it. So I get this on and off really quick and so I'll utilize that in the situations where I'm jumping in and out of the skid steer a lot. Uh, but like I said, when I do metal work, you can take this, this uh, accessory pouch you can cut, fold the corners in, and I can stick it right in here. And so that has all of my uh, metal cutting tools in it. So I'll insert that when I'm doing that kind of work. Otherwise, I usually do not have this bag in here. Um, it'll fit in either the right or left side pouch. Um, it's a nice little extra um, thing to have. Say if you, maybe if you're gonna be doing some electrical work, you can put your electrical tools there and slide it in your bags, uh, so on and so forth. As far as the hammer, um, I keep my hammer, there's a hammer loop in the back. I typically keep my hammer in that loop when I'm not using it. And then when I'm using it, I keep it in this loop in the front, that way it's easily accessible. So if I'm, maybe I'm nailing something or doing something with my hammer and I know I'm going to need it again, I will just slip it 
into this front loop so it's more accessible. And then when I'm not using it, I store it in the back just so it's out of the way. So that's kind of got a couple different options for your hammer. Um, it's got a square, a place for your square and your pocket on the left. And these bags, you can get these either right-handed or left-handed, so you can switch them up. Um, I kind of have this set up the way I like it, so I keep my square on the left side. Usually have my construction calculator, small level, and then my utility knife. And then these two little pouches out here is where I keep screws, nails, uh, whatever the case is. Most of the time I'll have three inch nails and then I'll have some 30 penny hand drives uh, for when we're putting girds on and stuff like that. A um, couple other things. This right here is an awesome accessory which is going to come in the in the giveaway. You can slide this on anywhere on your belt and it's a uh, drill accessory a hook so you can hang your drill on it. So as you can see right here I always have my drill and I can just hook it on there and then it's always there. If you like it in front, you can have it in front. I like mine right here, so I always have my drill hooked there. Um, if I'm using, depending on what kind of like framing nailer you use or maybe you're using a narrow crown stapler, it will also hook onto that. I'll show you that. This is my narrow crown stapler that I use a lot. Uh, that will hook on there fairly easy. So when I'm holding up a piece of soft or something, I can put it up there and then I can easily grab this and use it. Same thing, uh, pretty much went to all the pass load framing nailers and they also hook on there really easy too. And both of these, this is really light, this is really light and it works out really well uh, to have that accessory hanging loop right there for when you're doing stuff like that so you don't have to necessarily bend down and try to grab it when you're holding a piece or something up. So another thing that I use a lot is different bits. I usually have a T25 in my drill for most of what I do. And then over here they have a line of pouches. Memory, these will memorize whatever you put in them. So I kind of have an order of what I use the most in here and I point the bit part up so I can see what it is. So I got an extra T25, I got a Phillips, I got a T10 for my trim, little trim screws I use, T30, T40 for my bigger structural legs, and those are always there which is nice so when I need to change something over um, I don't have to go back to the trailer, they're always there. And like I said these are memories so they kind of, once you use them a few times, they're a little stiff at first, but once you use them, they slide right in there and they never move. So that is a nice uh, thing to have built into your tool belt. And I think that's pretty much all for the leather uh, tool bag. I will tell you it's held up very nicely. The one thing that was awesome about it is that when I first put it on, it was already pretty much broken, broken in. This is real leather. Um, it's got a really nice liner on the inside and then at the bottom, I don't know if you can see this, but there are little weep holes on all of the bags. And what that is for is so, you know, if, it, if it, you're out working in rain, you get rain in there, um, that water will seep out of there versus just staying in your bags. Um, typically, as soon as I get a sprinkle of water on me, I, I'm off the job site because I don't like to work in the rain. But it is a nice, um, nice little thing to have in your bags. Before I switch to the poly bag and kind of show you that, uh, to get this belt off, you have your chest strap right here. You just unclip it. And then this belt um, has a bunch of different loops. So that's all you have to do. You pull it in there, pull it to where you want, lock it in, slide it in. So it's fairly, it's fairly easy to get on and off. Um, but I'll show you the poly one now. Um, but these are the bags that I normally wear um, on a day-to-day -day basis. All right, so as far as the poly bags, they pretty much have all of the same um, kind of setup. So you have a bag out here on the side. You have some a little bit bigger pouches right here on your right pouch. Again, you have your tape measure um, hooks if you want them. Hammer loop in the back. Um, I usually have this uh, on here, but I took it off just to show you guys what this uh, looks like. And then you also have the hammer loop up in front 
and then your framing square on the left pouch, your main pouch, and then you got the two uh, nail screw pouches, whatever you want to use them for. But this is really quick and easy to take on and off. So it just clips in there and it's on. I have a little tie so it sits on my hips. Um, but this is nice when I got to jump in and out because all I got to do is grab these two little clips right here, undo it, throw it on the ground. I don't have to put the shoulder straps on or anything like that. Um, and this pouch here, this accessory pouch, will also fit in either the right or left hand side of these poly bags as well. So it's pretty sweet that these are kind of, will fit in whatever bags you have. So I can put it in the right or the left, whatever is kind of works for your situation, whatever you want to keep in there. Um, that bag is also nice to keep some additional weight off of you when you're not using those tools. I have a few tools that I always need on me. That's my hammer, my square, my pencil, my tape measure. Outside of that, uh, I kind of switch up. So it's nice to be able to take some of those tools, kind of throw them to the side so you don't have that additional weight on you. All right, so another thing about this poly bag is it's got, let's kind of take this off so you can see. Is on the main belt, it's Velcro. So you can fine tune where you want your bags and then you just clamp them on there and they do not move. So that is one great thing about this is you can kind of fine tune um, where those bags are going to sit on you. Um, one thing I forgot to mention about these bags here, the leather ones, if you want to remove your suspenders, it's really easy to do. Um, they have these nice hooks so they literally just pop on and off really quick so if you did want to take your suspenders off it's not a overwhelming task and another thing that i do carry a lot is a cat's paw and there is a cat's paw spot for uh, specifically for that here on the right hand pouch and i believe the poly bags um, have it too yep right here in the front I got a, a pouch for your cat's paw as well. So that is a, um, I shouldn't say this is a necessary tool because every time you have to use this, it's because you screwed something up most likely. So, but everybody does that. And I do carry my um, cat's paw with me all the time. So on top of the cat's paw um, spot, all of these bags have handles on them. So if you're gonna put them in your trailer, hang them up, you can just grab them like this, put them on your hook, and they're good to go. Uh, same thing with the poly bags. You got your handles right here, and you can easily hang them up on a hook. So that is a nice, uh, nice feature on these as well. All these bags you can find at weavertoolgear.com, and they don't just have framer bags. They have all kinds of bags for the tradesmen. They have them in leather, they have them in the poly, they have all these accessories on there, um, and I'm telling you, they are really high quality. You buy one of these bags, and it's gonna it's gonna last you for your career. So it's definitely a really good investment. So let's talk about the giveaway. The giveaway is going to be one of these bags, a set of these suspenders, as well as the um, drill accessory hook. So I'm gonna use my sheet to explain to you how you gotta enter. You have to, the giveaway is gonna go from November 1st through November 7th. You have to follow both Mr. Post Frame and Weaver Tool, uh, Weaver Tool Gear on Instagram. And then you have to tag a friend. Every time you tag a friend, you get an extra entry. So if you tag 20 friends, you're gonna get 20 entries. And this is a great giveaway. So you don't wanna miss out. Um, make sure you share it, all that kind of good stuff. So hopefully um, you guys get in there and uh, win this bag because you're definitely going to be happy with it. All of the details are going to be in the description with what's being given away, how you enter, uh, when the giveaway is. Um, so check that out. Get in there, tag all your friends, and hopefully you'll win yourself a bag. Uh, but as always, that's going to wrap up this uh, Hammer Time video. Um, if you, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, share us with your friends, and we will catch you on the next video.